your your gains come in smaller well, it, increments. They have to come in smaller increments, and, and you certainly never stop learning. And the more mm -hmm. runs you can make, the more you can learn. I mean, Warren Johnson, I'm guarantee, he's still learning. He's whatever, 65 years old or whatever he is. You know, been at it forever. They probably a million runs down the racetrack. I'll guarantee you still feel like he learns every time down the racetrack. And there, there's just no substitute for that. So if you ever think that you know it all, you've learned it all, you're going to get left behind. That's just the way it is. You know, that's the way it is with the, with the driver, with the car, with the engine. With the, that's the way people are now. They just strive to be better every day at every aspect of their game. You better find a better way to be a better driver every day, just like you better find a way to make more horsepower with your engine or make your Pontiac run better. You talk about every day. Do you actually work every day consciously saying I want to be a better driver? I mean, well, I mean, consciously you do. Uh, do you physically do it every day? I probably don't. I, I probably put my engine building, you know, be able to work more than that first. I probably put the car testing the car on the racetrack second, and the driver probably comes third. Is that how it should be? Probably not. You know. I don't know. Like, I mean, maybe you, you, different things you know, work for different Rob, people. my crew chief, and all my crew guys, they want to test all the time. And I can't leave the shop all the time to go test, and I can't take every hour of every day to go test, so I have to divide up the time. i got to make him happy. i got to work on the engines. i got to find a way to my, make myself a better driver. So you got to divvy up the time. you got to delegate your time and use it as wisely as you can. Unfortunately, it probably does come down like that. engine number one, car number two, and driver number three. You know. Driver should probably be number one, to be honest with you. It's a whole lot easier for that driver to make up 200% of that starting line than that car. So maybe that's where I've been wrong over the whole years in the past. Maybe that's where I need to focus. But, you know, we just we have, such, we have such faith in our engines. We really love working on engines. It's just the technology of it and learning every day on the engine. That's where your passion that, kind that's of is. That's where passion is. for sure. Mine probably your second two days. We love driving, but we just love working on the things with our hands, number one. So it seems to get the most time here. I wish we had 48 hour days every day. We don't, unfortunately. We use many hours as we can. We divide it up so well as well as we can. But it, there's areas that get cheated, and for me and Jason, it's probably not right. I mean, and you see the There's plenty of other drivers out here that don't actually build it. They don't work on the right They don't do all that. So they have more time to do that. Jason and I are kind of unique. We're pretty unique in that way. They work on the mission for the day. So it's a tough challenge, but. I don't think that either myself or Jason could put ourselves in that position where we didn't work on our engines. We got somebody else to do. We just went to practice driving all day, and, and you know, it's kind of something like that. We'd be bored, I guess. It would be challenging enough for us. Not to say that the driving is really challenging because it is, but it's not what we really want. It's not our passion. Well, and everybody's everything's different. We started out working on these cars all our lives. Where we come from, we're drivers. We just became drivers late in life. Well, that's why you get so well in the world. Don't you think? Okay. I mean, that's why you you he, you yep. appeal to him as an employee. You know. It takes a lot of patience, and it just takes a lot of effort to try and delegate properly your time. You know, you've got a family also that you've got to take care of and spend time with. You've got to fit that in. Those kids grow up faster than them. That is number one. You know, the rest of it's two, three, and four. That's not number four after all those other three. That should be number one. And it's tough to find the time to make lists. yourself do it. Yeah. Exactly. So it's, a, it's a challenge, but I love every aspect of it, all four of those things. Normally, the engine, the driver aspect of it, and the company. I love it.